There we go. Okay, so it comes with a two car garage. It'll be fully drywalled in here. Um, we'll have a hose there, like a hose out for water. Car. Awesome. Very nice. Um, so, first floor uh, mechanical. So, this will be a furnace. We do a really nice two zone heating and cooling. So, oh, good. Which you need on this vertical construction. So, you have two yeah. thermostats and damper system. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. I have, that's what I have in my house. And that was one of the things that I was very yeah, adamant about. Because mine's, well, mine's only two floors, but. We do do a crawl space on all of ours. So, there is extra storage. Okay. Oh, nice. Which is nice. Awesome. Towns are always notorious for storage. Yeah. Uh, really nice big bedroom down here. So that's double doors. Most this people use this as an office. Yeah. This is um, really good size. So nice windows. There'll be a full bath down here. So you got your vanity. Awesome. Toilet. So is this the master? No, it's just secondary bedroom. But it's 11 by 14, so that's a good size. Yeah. Room. The volume of this space is amazing. <laughs> so shower, toilet, sink. Awesome. Very cool. And then closet here. Closet. We don't have to freak out about going upstairs. <laughs> Yesterday they had uh, the... We've got an iron railing. That's oh, cool. That's the price, so that's right here. Yeah, yeah. The other one we saw yesterday didn't have any railing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, your main living area is 10-foot ceiling down here. Awesome. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so oh, look at that. Um, let's start back yeah. here. Um, this will be sink. There's a nice big window box that comes kind of out here. So sink, dishwasher right here. Okay. This is a, I believe it's a nine foot island that comes uh, right here. Awesome. Wall oven right here with the microwave above it. Nice. 36 inch gas cooktop hood. Fence to the outside. We do do that. Awesome. Um, so cabinets all the way around. So it's a big space of cabinets. So cool. It goes from there all the way to here. And then your cabinets underneath the island as yeah, well. Yeah, the cabinets there too. Okay. Walk-in pantry. Oh, nice. With a window. This is huge. And with the natural light will be really nice. Yeah. Um, refrigerator's right here. Nice. There's a half bath. Oh, okay. So the I see the yeah, entry is in here. Yeah, and then take a right. So this will be a hallway, yeah. which I love so you because don't walk right out in yeah, there. yeah, that's yeah. really yeah, nice. So this is just like a little walkway, yeah. and then the door to the so bathroom. This is, is actually there. where your toilet is, right here. Oh, okay. This is a so you have so it's a little hallway. That way, yeah. you know, like most half baths, when you open the door, oh, like, yeah, hey guys. which is not great. <laughs> Plus, the sound transmission. Yeah, great, yeah, so. yeah. You don't want to be uh, yeah. uh, listening to somebody use the restroom while you're cooking. This is the, this is the, small, yeah, this is the small second floor. So there'll be a slider that opens. Um, it's a concrete, we pour concrete um, awesome. on this floor. Awesome. Covered. Nice. Yeah, I like that. That's the cool. building that we're releasing, this is actually going to be facing south, which is nice. Oh. So you'll get a south front. Nice. Good snow melt. So yeah, sure. yeah. The light will be, I'm yeah. sure really good okay sweet this little area is interesting yeah we're we got to figure this out okay. these are the first ones we're building sure sure so we got a couple issues like uh somehow our rise and run didn't end up right oh uh, okay okay this header uh oh. is a little short here so okay we're we just found this out on friday when we put these sticks <laughs> in, so we got some thinking to yeah, do and yeah. some figuring out to do i see so. okay when you always build the first one it's always a little like Oh, we got to, yeah, tweak that out, yeah. Um, this is your laundry, so these are bullet doors. Nice. Washer, dryer, there's cabinets up. There'll be a base cabinet over here. Awesome. That's watch nice and big, too. Yeah. Oh, watch your head in the... Uh, this will be your master, so you can see both the ceilings, so that'll be your ceiling height. Oh, my gosh. And then, so the master will be facing south. South. That'll be a massive mm -hmm. light. That'll be yeah. really nice. And then this will be your master bath. So we do a, it's a six foot long shower. So this will be your shower. Wow. 12 inch seat, five inch pan, double sinks, toilet. Wow. And the walk-in closet. And then 
this is the back bedroom and ensuite. Okay. So uh, he's it walking does through have the walk-in walk closet. <laughs> so this is the walk-in closet for the bedroom. Okay. This is the bathroom. So this is the shower. Their bathroom. Okay. Toilet, sink. Bedrooms back here. So the first bedroom the, on the first floor, that's what you said people are using as a study. Office, uh -huh. yeah. Oh my uh -huh. God, it was huge. Yeah. yeah. All of our beds, nice thing with this floor plan is all the bedrooms have their own bath. Yeah. There's yeah. no yeah. shirt baths in any of these, which is nice. That is really nice. So then these windows would be facing north. Yes. Okay. So you'll probably get little peekaboo views of the mountains. Well, because see where that red truck is? Uh-huh. That's the building that, that we're going to release. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So it's pretty much lays out just like this building right here. So this building looking this way, this is a three-story. Okay. It's a pretty far distance from here to here, so... I think you, even from these rooms, you may get some peekaboos. And yeah. then, I mean, one more floor up, it's... So how do you get to the rooftop? You throw, you just throw yourself. Yeah, I, I climb up. Right? The stairwell That's, is... Can, yeah. can you build her a... Uh, yeah. a, a, a oh, oh. that little suction tube, like at the bank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, you'll go around. This will be the landing. And you go one more Another floor. flight of stairs above us. Oh, okay. okay. The rooftop is pretty much from this wall all the way back. Oh, cool. That's, That's going to be massive. Yeah. So all of this rooftop, that it's is... It's pretty much this whole area. Nice. Minus the little stairwell to get you up. Awesome. But you can just see the views are going to be Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got the yeah. flat irons. Um, flat irons, this is, these are called the Indian Peaks. Uh-huh. That big mountain back there, that's Mount's Peak, so that's a 14 just get the whole, whole front range. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, they've got economies of scale because there's so much that they're building. Yeah. This is yeah. really cool. Very well done. Uh -huh. Marsha might need a, a stone climbing wall to get up through. There you go, that's there. not a bad idea. That'll give you practice for <laughs> your, yeah. your rock climbing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so um, on your installation between the walls, between your part and your uh, yeah. neighbor, mm. explain that. Mm -hmm. So this is called a shaft wall system. Mm -hmm. here. Um, so if you hit that, this is concrete sheet rock. There's two sheets of it. Main bear, main point of it is for uh, fire fires bear. spreading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get to that um, mm -hmm. So how it works is you'll have 5 8 inch drywall. We blow in R19 sound insulation. Oh, nice. Got two sheets of this. Repeat R19. Shop and then drive on the other side, you will never hear anybody next door. Okay, because yeah. yeah. I moved out of the master and I'm in the guest bedroom yeah. because I hear everything upstairs. Yeah, mm -hmm. luckily there's nothing above and below you, yeah. it's mm -hmm. all side, but this stuff is so well. Now, the problem is if the fires like the fire that happened a couple yeah. months ago, it all started from the outside, so uh -huh. none of this actually matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. all right. Good. Do you want me to go in front? No, it's okay. I don't, I, I don't know why yesterday really freaked me out. It's, yeah, it's, it was the... It was so open. Yeah. Was the whole stairwell? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. It was so vertical, and I was like, oh my God. And I'm terrified of heights. Yeah, yeah. So I took up rock climbing, indoor rock climbing, to try to master my yeah. terror of heights. How about it? Don't do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's made it worse. It worse. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fireplace will go right here. One. Well, and what you were saying too about that place needing about like a Juliet balcony or yeah, something, yeah. this has an actual balcony. Right, right, right. It has everything that the other Most people did. would put yeah. a barbecue or a mm -hmm. smoker out on this level. Yeah. Because if you're cooking on here, makes so sense. You can do that on these. Awesome. And then you said so fire fireplace, fireplace right would here. go. Yeah, okay. so typically you'll have the fireplace right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. And then you'll have the fireplace right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. 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 Right the space is um, big. Yeah. There is enough room. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. 2,000 square feet. Yeah. yeah. If you do want a true dining, there is, this is it. There is room for it. This is the desk. Okay. Except my family that I have. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then you kind of have really two guest bedrooms because you have that one downstairs that can double as an office, and then you have a true guest bedroom on that, right, right. that level upstairs. Uh, and it has its own bathroom. It's just so much. It makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. It's so funny because I found you. I was, I don't know, I was nervous about something. So I'm going through <laughs> and um, 
uh, oh, my dad's in home hospice and his care, care yeah. is quitting. It's just a nightmare. He's 97. Mm-hmm. Anyway, She's so I'm like, oh, and he's at home. It's terrible. Wow. So I'm going to, I was just, I'm like, just need, I'm just going to go through all this all night because <laughs> I just needed something. And I found this and I, I sent it to you and I was like, wait, I just don't understand because Superior is a town, uh-huh. but yet there's construction and it's a town. So, uh-huh. so he looked into it for me, but that was so, because nothing yeah, so, came up on the MLS. Yeah. So, yeah. You, downtown Louisville has the restaurants and all of that and Superior doesn't. So Superior is really, that's what they're trying to create is this whole walk around. Yeah. Yeah, downtown area for their residents. I like that in the in the sense of um, the equity growth when you're in the beginning phases of a new community. Yeah, yeah, that's I did that major. Oh, did you? Yeah. 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 So I've been through this before. Luckily, well, I mean, we've been building here since 2015, and when we first started, and we thought I mean, we would have been waiting forever for the downtown, but oh. luckily, everybody now it's already started. So, so, yeah. so yeah. for people who have something to sell, you know. I live in Lincoln Park, so and I just talked to my real estate, I would sell very quickly. But how do you, well, my big worry is um, making sure this is done so I can move into it, you know, and. Uh, we don't do any contingencies, so. No, 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 I yeah, get I just get build away. I'm right, so. but I just, so, yeah, I'm just, that's not, when I moved from Santa Fe, I had to put all my stuff in storage because it wasn't ready, you know, type of thing. We're a little bit, I mean, we're a little more production oriented builder, so that's the good news. Um, when we get to drywall, that's usually 90, it's, it's 90 days typically from that to closing. Mm-hmm. That's when most of our folks list their homes for sale, because that's N- kind of- 90 days before? Yeah, and that's when- Which is exactly get, what we were talking about. Mm-hmm. That's when we yep. give you a kind of, hey, here's where we can put closing will be. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's usually enough time I'm just trying to them. avoid putting all my yeah. stuff in storage. Yeah. And so the other question, kind of a caveat to that is, is there flexibility if her closing date doesn't coincide so that yeah, she can yeah. move? I mean, if it's a day or week or whatever, we're, we're not like, like cool. some of the builders that are like, oh, we'll cancel you. you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, we kind of expect it within that week or so okay. to try to get it figured yeah, out. Yeah. So. Okay. And, and, and I think if we coordinate this with Anna, we'll be able to yeah. get that. You know, yeah, she, she totally gets it. The good news is we're already started with construction because that's yeah. Yeah. getting a permit in Square is really tough right now. Mm, right, yeah, yeah. Really tough, so. That's a good point, yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop my recording.